Hey everyone, Red here, and it's finally time that I get to the long overdue best build for Knight. Really sorry for the delay on this. It really just came down to a lot of things stacking up against me. But here we are. We managed to get it done. So let's go ahead and jump straight to the build. For our first perk, we have Corrupt Intervention. The three gens located farthest from our spawn are going to be blocked by the entity for 120 seconds or until we put a survivor into the dying state. Second, we're running Surveillance. Any generators that regressing will be highlighted by a white aura and if the regression is interrupted on a generator it will be highlighted by a yellow aura instead for 16 seconds plus the noises created by generator repairs are audible at an additional eight meters third we have jolt putting a server into the dying state with a basic attack cause all gens within a 32 meter radius to explode instantly for eight percent and begin regressing last but not least we have of course scourge hook pain resonance the first time a survivor is hooked on a scourge hook will lose a token but the gem with the most progress is going to detonate Detonate for 25%. As far as add ons, we went with the dried horse meat, which will increase the amount of time a guard will hunt a survivor by four seconds. And we went with, of course, call to arms, which will increase the length of a patrol path by 10 meters. And while we're creating a path, the movement speed is increased by 25%. Overall, I had a lot of different ideas when it came down to doing the best build for night, and that's one of the reasons it took so long. I was looking what I thought would be the most consistent. I think this is probably the most consistent build right now for the night, and it's going to guarantee you a lot of night chases from survivors on gens thanks to the surveillance and all the ways that we can regress gens from afar, whether it be Jolt, Skirchuk, or even our own units. Again, sorry for the long way in this, but let's go ahead and jump straight to the gameplay. And it looks like we have Blood Lodge. I really do enjoy the new Blood Lodge. Actually, a lot of the Auto Haven changes they made map-wise was really good. We got, it's also, oh wow, we got a chase already. It's also a really good map, though, for Knight. A lot of the smaller maps are good for most killers, but especially with Knight, it's gonna allow us to really play on this. Can we snag Steve? Ooh, it's a maybe. No, okay. I thought maybe we could catch him off. We got one pallet to our left, and nothing really over anywhere else, it looks like. Okay, I was looking for uh, the nice little vault there, but he didn't go for it, so... We'll just cut this right round. There we go. That should be a guarantee. Yeah, there we are. And now we just make sure he can't make his way back to it. Hey, buddy. Oh, no shot. Wow. Well, that's definitely one way to start the game off. We have a little bit of extra time here to kind of put this chase away. Okay. I was hoping I'd get that down. Well, we still get it. Cool. Normally, you want to try and get the unit down before they perform the fast fall. That way, our unit can still grab it. But not too bad. Okay. No second uh, flashlight. We'll take our first scourge hook since we had the issue. And it looks like we're over there with all of our pressure right now. And a little bit here to the left. We can go ahead and send the uh, Carnifex this way. It seems like they might have actually gotten off the gen. That's pretty smart. Something you should definitely keep your eye out while, whenever you're playing against Knight. If he has anything like barbecue, or for us, we have surveillance to look for those easy little snags on our units. Just moving away for a moment can get you uh, some good distance, or at least avoid the unit. But Cage, hold that for me. Thank you. Someone's back on the gen to our left. They're really brave to stay right here in this area. It is the assassin. See if maybe we can go for a two-tap. Angled off a little bit better. I have Jailer. Not the best for, like, continuing a chase, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, I'm glad we got that. It's very risky doing a chase, because if you don't get it, that means you're going to be holding forward for a long time to continue the chase, or you got to give it up. There we go. That works. The second scourge hook. Scourge hook's real strength is just denying that early game pressure, which is killer's, like, worst time. So, we're doing pretty solid here. They moved off already. All right. That's fine. We can go ahead and kick the gen. Surveillance will stay on it. I know they'll probably go on it again here in a second, but we'll just send another unit that way in a moment. We can go ahead and just keep cycling here. Kicking these gens, right? Whenever you kick a gen with a unit, it's 5%. So it's pretty impactful. Especially over the course of a game. Uh, 
Whoops, I was trying to get out my jailer real quick. There we go. Would have been a little bit more smooth if I could have gotten the jailer out right away. That way I could get 5% there and a little bit more from the jolt. Just like that. And they did go and work back in the shack gen, because that's no longer white on the gen. Oh, I hear you over here. Hey, man. That was brave. Well, you got enough distance out here. I do want to keep an eye on that shack gen, but... Who are you going to drop? And that's why we like the current effects. I was really tempted when I was making the uh, best build, because I had a really hard time finding, like, consistency and what I wanted to be, like, the most consistent. I almost went really hard into like a, uh, a chase build with the Carnifex. But overall, I decided that we would definitely go with the surveillance because it allows you just so many free snags on your units. Well, we didn't heal up there, so that's not too bad. Do we go anywhere else and heal is the only question. I don't see any scratch marks, so I figured we'd be somewhat close. Or we just came over here to the gen. That works, too. Hey, gamer. I You what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> cool. We finally got her. I bet she's been on that the whole time, too. We gotta come in here because it's Jailer. Hi. That way she can't get back to the flag. Cool. Easy break. Another 5%. Knight at a core level is just a super good control killer. There we go. And now we wait. Oh. Well, never mind. I, I thought it would catch him before he get back there. Oh, well. Well played. Big mistake on my part. I should have went to the flag. Or uh, cut through the middle there. Hey, man. I wonder if we can get him to another two-tap. Hi. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, well, fair enough. We got Karn effects up, so any pallet he drops is going to be instantly broken. Ooh, nice. Holding it forward. That's what you should do. It's one of the big negatives. We'll see if we can try and snag. Oh, I guess I can't go through there. I was hopeful. Push him right back to us. Awesome. And that is his second stage. And someone just hopped on the gen back there. So we're going to go ahead and cycle out our units again. Even if it means we only can uh, use the jailer here to actually kick the gen, it's still really good. Yeah. You can tell they're not working on it anymore, so there's no point. All right, looks like they're getting the save, and someone went back to that gen. I'll send the assassin over here. If we can get somebody with the assassin, that'd be amazing. There we go. Someone else is with him, actually. Oh, and that's who it got. Awesome. We'll go ahead and continue a chase for a split second here. And we have one on the gen over there. Actually, we have sight on everybody, so we're good to go ahead and send out a unit. Darn, I was really... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'd hit somebody there, but I, st I stopped hearing them working on it. That's fine. Gives us plenty of time to hook up here. But he made it back to the flag. Oh. Hey, man. You gotta quit hovering around like this. That is our last skirt choke. We love to see it. And go right back to kicking all of our gens on this map. Yeah, it's got to be so brutal. How much, I wonder, and let me know in the comment section, how, how much percent have we really knocked off on these gens throughout, like, just our units? I'm guessing we got to be on the gen back here. Double check the other gen. Yeah, I was like, I knew it. I just sent you to check the other gens, and that was about the only gen we haven't seen anyone on for a while. We can stop this. Yeah, that kind of denies this whole area. And that is the first survivor out of the game. And someone went right back to our generators. These are mine. So 
somebody working on middle gen here. They were. Back into Shaq. They do like Shaq. Oh, they're both here. Cool. Yeah, he doesn't really make it anywhere, I don't think. Cool. And we get a little bit of Joel value on that gen to deny a little bit more. Oh, I saw ya. We'll see if we can tag her real quick, actually. Huh, I really thought that person would go back to that gen. Oh! You snuck over here. You missed the flashlight timing, but that was sneaky. Two survivors out. One went back to the gen. Okay. Now it just comes down to uh, find the last survivors. Oh, here we are. I, I hear you, but I, are you moving? Oh, you're just flashing me. All right. Fair enough. I'm guessing she's ready to get out of the game. I saw a cage just a second ago, but... You know, if she wants the attention, she can have it. Alright. I know I saw a cage around this area. It's just a matter of, like, where. Huh. I really thought that would actually get him. Wait, I heard some breathing. Are we chilling out over here? We Oh, we are. Come here, man. I just want to talk about it. We only got one pallet, early vert drop. Now the question is, does he get hatching from him anywhere? The answer is no. Lampkin lane time, let's go. Not the best spawn, most because it leaves that bomb gen there out a little bit. I'd rather that be corrupted. Oh, but on the bright side, we got a chase right away. Could hit the vault. Let's go ahead and leave a unit right here. That way, if she fast falls that area, it'll trigger the unit to go chase her. Oh, is this doorway open? It is, so she has vault access. On the bright side, we should be able to catch that relatively quick. Yeah, not too bad. Leon's coming in. Seems like he wants my attention a little bit, and he's a better chase, so I'm okay with this. We can also get rid of this pallet later if we need to. Early drop. We should be able to snag that. Ooh, maybe not. Is it just barely not? Yeah. Oh well, we still get our hit. It just takes us a little bit longer. I would rather have the assassin so we could look for a double. I'm not really a fan of chasing this, but we'll see if we can put it down real quick since we had her heal up. It's a maybe. Okay, we got it. That will allow us to chase for a second here. Pallet drop. Ooh, and he actually went inside. Okay, I thought he'd hold it forward. Well, let's hope he comes out this way. Hey. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. That is, that is very, very unlucky. Go out the front, please. You did. Cool. But I gotta give up the chase. That's why we bring Corrupt Intervention, though. We can give up chases like that and not get, like, three gems to pop on us. Because we can always, you know, have an idea where people are. And thankfully... Hi, what's going on? We can start working on these generators here in a second. Ooh, we'll try and finish this up real quick. Oh, that was a massive mistake on your part. Carnifex is up in a second. Don't need it, though. Carnifex is still chasing her. But she did manage to get to the flag. That's another thing about uh, Haddonfield. The houses make perfect escapes from the guards to be able to get back to the flag. Thankfully, Skurchuk is going to help us out a lot there. And we can go ahead and... Well, we'll see if we can get a hit on her or at least a chase started. Maybe Assassin with a little bit of luck. Oh, wow. She didn't get tagged by the Assassin. I thought she was in range. But I guess I was wrong. We gotta be back on this gen, right? Oh yeah. You know, maybe I shouldn't have kicked it. I probably should have gotten into chase, but I wanted to be able to deny the gen. If she got into chase, she might have been able to, to finish the gen and then take the hit for it, and that's just not worth. Not if I can deny it. 
Definitely ends up going for the ball. Ooh, they actually got right back onto the uh, gen. Oh, I got stuck. There we go. Oh, you got a sprint burst on you. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll be alright. At least that's what I'm assuming, because we had the unit placed pretty well on top of her. Alright, and we went back to the generator over there. I don't know if I'll be able to deny it again, but we're going to try. Yeah. I, You know, honestly, I maybe could have put the unit on it. I tried getting the unit to place there that we would get into chase right away, though. Give and take. I don't know if people will deny because there are two survivors there, so even a 5% kick might not have been enough. Unit's still chasing there, and we can hopefully... Oh, we have someone coming over here as well. Hey, gamer. We're definitely leaving a lot of chases here. I won't be able to put them away, but we got to do it in an effective manner. Keeping everyone injured is pretty strong, too. We went right back to that gen. See if we can sneak up on them a little bit. There we go. That is a long chase unit, though. Carnifex has an insanely long chase, which can be good for, like, tracking or even just keeping a survivor, like, busy for a long period of time. But it's not exactly the best if we need to be busy with other things. Want to come back into Carnifex so we can get, like, a two-tap down? Huh, gamer? Nope, we are holding it forward. That's what you definitely want to do against Knight. So we have to be a little careful, but the build should be able to handle it okay. Hopefully the assassin can down her and we can kind of get the setup on the surveillance again. This is why another build that did come up in mind was actually utilizing Sloppy Butcher in place of something. But overall, I think the surveillance value is just too good. But you could probably argue like Sloppy Butcher over in like Joel or something. But yeah, like I said, hard to say. Or even Gift of Pain. Lots of options for uh, for Knight. And that's one of the big issues. I'm surprised that I actually got. There we go. That was one of the biggest issues in terms of delay is I was playing with so many builds and I just I was trying to juggle which one was really the best. All right. Well, we're probably sitting closer to... Well, we've denied that a little bit. At the moment, we're probably sitting closer to two gens, one gen. But we are in a good spot here where we can kind of hit all the gens. Ooh, someone's also there. Cool. We can hit all the gens while staying by the hook. And not something I like to do, but it's very effective right here. There they go. They're going to have it for a second. We'll see if we can get some pressure out. There we go. Now, if they didn't get back in time, we'll punish it. But they got it, so that's fine. We're still going to try and punish it, though. Hold that for me. Will you take a quick hit for me? Oh, thank you. I would prefer if you walked back, but we don't have the right unit to go for a two-tap. Hey, man. Do you have car effects up now? Doesn't matter. All right. Now, if I can find a Scourge Hook, we can really start fighting back on some of the early game. Yeah, it was really close. Very risky, but it was worth getting the uh, Scourge Hook to go off. Again, one of the other nice things about Scourge Hook is that it allows us to kind of... It buys us an extra gen as long as we get all the procs off. There we go. That should kind of seal her. Oh, there's like two or three drop downs here. Or she might go back. Hi. There we go. Had to be a little patient with it. Didn't want her to be able to get back to the flag. Oh, we're going to try and make it. Don't you do it. Okay. I was waiting for like a dead heart into me. I was like, ugh. It went really brutal. Oh, he actually didn't go inside. We still get him, though. That's not too bad. Where are you going, buddy? I know you're on that gen, too. Oh, straight to the corner, comp. Gotcha. There we go. Keep denying that. We've, we've really shot that gen down. That's really good. There's numerous times where that gen was getting ready to pop that we've really put it away. Which has denied a lot of their momentum throughout the game. And now we just want to really keep surveillance up. And we, it's one of the things about night on open end maps like this. It kind of becomes like a war of attrition. There we go. Hi. And you're out of the game. So you're definitely a prime target.
I don't want to devote too much time to it because I'm okay. I'm always okay with like leaving a chase if I need to, but this is just a perfect down. Yeah, and Jolt doesn't even go off and hit that because it's already regressed all the way. Awesome. We do lose another gen. I'm okay with losing that one almost always in Hanfield. It's really hard to protect. There's normally a pretty good like pallet or two pallets around it. I don't really want to be over here, but I don't really have a lot of pressure just yet. Do we get it? We do get it. Gonna come back inside, hopefully. Doesn't go inside. Except I read them both wrong this time. And now we're in the worst spot. We don't want to be chasing behind a unit almost ever. Unless it's like for a double tap. Oh, you just gonna run out here soon. Hi. Oh, never mind. We do get the double tap. Can't believe she actually doubled back like that. And they started working on the gen again, so we'll put a unit on it. That'll keep her busy until we get the hook. Easy peasy. And now it gives us good tracking. How's she playing it? Oh, is she actually just like running him around tile? Poor Carnifex. Let the man catch up. Oh, actually, the man does catch up. The extra hunt time. Really brutal about that. There you go. Kind of forces her into a spot. And there's our last skirt shook. It was a little risky to go away from our gens while doing that chase because you never know if they're gonna be able to prove thyself a gen down. It's only like 45 seconds if they do. So a little risky, but we're able to kind of fight that risk off with uh, pain res. It looks like that's where might be giving up, but we'll see. That's been another really big thing while doing a lot of the night 30 days and just really night videos in general. Uh, we'll go for her, that's fine. Not really sure if I wanna stick it though. Yeah, one of the biggest things like doing night is just the amount of DCs. It's the same thing with Skull Merchant. I know they're definitely not uh, favorite killers to go against. I personally don't mind going against them, but I know they're definitely uh, up there on the not liked list. Ooh, I thought I put it enough space there where that wouldn't happen. Oh, well. We'll still get it. It just takes a few extra seconds. It's still a pretty big mistake, but not game-threatening. Oh, we were actually up there. That's cool. Two survivors out of the game. And we have a Leon up top. Now, they could still get gens done. I don't know the pressure on all the gens. She wants my attention. What kind of attention is you want? Are you just done, or are you... Oh, I guess you are done. Cool. Looks like they're giving up. That works for me. We'll go ahead and wrap this game up. Oh, there we go. Hey, man. You know, I, I'll i look for the 4K since I see you. Normally, I just hook up and give you the chance for hatch. But, uh, yeah, this works. Hi, right, man. Oh, a styptic. Okay. Well, it means I kind of have to wait a second, so... Oh, she actually had Unbreakable. You would think she wouldn't Unbreakable because she, you know, wants to get out of the game, but whatever. No big deal. We'll see if she's just sitting there afterwards. Oh, there you are. Hi. Well, best of luck. Didn't drop the pallet. I would have, but she's just going to hold it forward and look for Hatch. Do you see it? Oh, she does. So, like, she took a beat, like just an immediate turn. Oh, well, there we go. Not too bad. Let's go next. Fractured Cow Shed. It is the new one, so it's not as bad as the old Cow Shed, but Cow Shed's always pretty brutal. It's another one of those maps you can kind of hold forward on pretty well and find some kind of resource. Oh, we did come to this, Jen. I just checked it. There you go. Hold that for me. Can the assassin catch up? Probably not. I had kind of a bad starting area when I saw her. Oh, just kidding. We got Jailer up, so not the best for breaking a pallet, but it works. Especially for those really good pallets. Yeah, I had a feeling. We have someone who's working on the gen right by us. The light's going to give her a little bit of distance, not too much. Oh, and there we are. Thank you. That is good double jolt value. See if we can get somebody over here real quick. There. Carnifex will chase for a long time. And hey, can I get like a extra free hit? That'd be awesome. I 
I could kick it again, but I'd rather wait for a unit. There we go. About the best I can do against a flashlight if there is one. Ooh, we got a scourge trick right here. You'd love to see it. You would. I hate you and everything you stand for. Oh, you better get out of my way. Oh, you have the toolbox for it, not just Saboteur of the Perk. Okay. Well, I want you to know, deep down, I know you're adopted. All right? That's, that's how I feel about that. On the bright side, though, we got everybody injured, so that's pretty good pressure. Downside is that's our early game, and that always sucks to happen during the early game. Thank you. We have no reason to ever respect that. We'll have to play a little bit of gen defense for a second. Or... There we go. You can take a little bit of a weird read there, but that's alright. Get a little bit more jolt. They could get the other gen done, though. I'm gonna try and tag it. Yeah, just a little bit out of range. But it's not nearly as done as I thought it was. Okay, no person here to uh, sabo my hook. We got one person inside. It sounds like we just heard someone go on that too. There we go. Dial chase for a little bit. Hopefully he gets a hit. We can get surveillance back on this. The assassin's got a ways to run, but it looks like Lythe was in play, so she definitely gets out from that. But we still got ourselves a free hit, so that's not too bad. Ooh, I gotta think about this middle gen, actually. Cool. It's not the best to deny that gen. Like, it's not gonna deny it for long, but if it can deny it just long enough for me to get a little bit more value, I'll be pretty happy. Cool, we are here. Awesome. Holding it forward, took the hit. So we're gonna be playing around Shaq. I'd really rather not, but. Cool. Ooh. Howdy. Thank you. That should catch her. At least I'm pretty hopeful. I need to get back to middle, or I'm gonna lose the generator. Uh, I got Jailer up. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's so unfortunate. At least we got the chase, but that gen could have been denied for sure. Yeah, it's a misplay on my part. Oh, well. I'll take that, though. Get a little bit of Scourge Hook love. Yeah, I really could have denied this middle gen, I think, a lot longer. Or we could have kept sending units towards middle gen while we watched these other three. These three back here, though are our very important generators because we can always push a survivor into the corner or into the wall here and just slow play a game out. There we go. Just keep setting up that eruption. Not eruption. Sorry, surveillance. Hmm. I don't want them to be a hold forward out of here, so. Oh, I think I just heard them. Yep, there they are. Howdy. Howdy. Well, we at least get one hit here. She's going the right way, and someone did go back onto our generator. Ooh, she's going this way, though. Actually, works out really well for me. That way, hopefully, we can chase two survivors at the same time. Or we just branch off here. She might go to the generator instead. And then we can send a unit there in a second. Come on. Oh, that's right. You guys all have light. I was really hopeful we will get that down with these. Like a quick two-tap would have been really successful for me. Oh, come on. Nice. And did we go right back to it? I don't remember. Probably. Like, it got tapped, right? For sure. Ah, I tried kicking the gen. Oh, well. I unfortunately am going to have to probably take this hook because someone was right on that gen. So, yeah. Risking the Scourge Hook would be a little risky, though I think she's already on it. I haven't really been keeping track who's been on it. This round. Where are we at? Oh, we're just chilling right here. Cool. All right, taking the swap. There we go. That's what we want. 
That way you go right into chase right away. I don't know if I really want to leave my gens here. Lithe. She's going into the corner. We're currently okay with this. The Jailer's only going to chase for a few more seconds. But just enough time. If she would have held forward, she probably would have been fine. Oh, I see you guys here. Holding it forward. Okay. I don't got enough distance to catch them with that. Easy peasy. Go ahead and kick this again for 5%. We'll swap over. Jen, what, top right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Try and get Jailer over here. I'm trying not to reveal where I'm setting my units with my terror radius, but a little hard. Hopefully that's able to deny the Jen. The Jailer has a little bit longer of an action, so he'll hold that Jen hostage for a little bit longer, too. Oh, I hear it's going. Come on. I want to try and get it down just in time. Nice. And then we'll just go ahead and send the unit there. We might have to push her off. Yeah. Uh, you know what I can do? I can actually drop my jailer here. There we go. That way we can get this scourge hook. Or we can at least get this survivor hooked up in general. Now, if the other survivor s sneaks in there and gets it, that's one thing. Get out of my way, please. Yeah, I'm going over there. Oh, cool. You actually got out of my way. I was going to go do the other one, but this works. Oh, that's right. You were out of the game. To be fair, to my credit, they are all Michaela. We haven't went back to that just yet. We might lose that gen here in a little bit, but I'm going to do my best to uh, hold it off. Was that good enough? I think so, right? Yeah. Yeah. She gets away either way. We do have Jailer coming up, so we have them over here. I don't know if I can deny that. We weren't... Yeah. I had a feeling, but they might try and heal up afterwards. Maybe not. But on the bright side, we came to this gen. Downside is I don't have my unit up. Bright side again, though. There's uh, no pallet here. And finally, able to get a little bit more on the Skirtshook value. Thankfully, we still have one more Skirtshook to go to, so we still have quite a bit of regression in the tank. That's still good. We got one forever moving over to the right. I did kick that, but it looks like they tapped it, like, right away. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we are. Quick little hit. You love to see it. And now we're trying to play on this. She's looking for the life. I'm going to try and get a tag here, but she can always just take life and get away from the unit. But not over here. Trying to get as far away from the gen. Yeah, Joel won't reach this far. There we go. Finally used up all of our pain res. And it looks like that should be a good chunk of all their actual progress on the game. There we go. And we are over there. I'll wait for the assassin. Oh, you're right there. Oh, well. I'll go over here instead. Did you actually move away from it? If they are on comms, they could definitely say he's sending a unit over there. We also saw a, a crow come up, so she's probably still chilling here, but oh, well. Someone's got to go for the save, and it'll probably be the other Michaela. Yeah, there it is. Hi. Oh, nice. She ran to the corner. We're good. She will get the light distance, but we have both of them here. Wait. You know, I just downed you, but I swear you were holding forward a second ago. Can I get Carnifex over there, or maybe to tag her? Alright, a little too far. That's my bad. Well, that's almost everybody on stage two. It's really important we got that survivor out, actually. It would be really hard to manage all of this right now. See Assassin, come on. Nice. There's survivor already bounced out, but maybe we get a nice little two tap here. Hey gamer, you wanna no? Alright. Holding it forward. There's the other Michaela. Now we can just kind of watch both of you. This works a lot better for me. Oh, he turned a really weird way there. 
It's a really good cut across with the light. The injured survivor has to go for the save. Do you want to drop pallet? That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I can keep chasing this for now. So especially now that they gave up the actual hook. You want to drop? No drop. So we want to catch you here, hopefully. We can hopefully push into that. Yeah, we can. Cool. That's still a hit. Oh, my God. Oh, I saw a crow. Oh, and we got you right there. Cool. I was just going to check the gen originally, but that works. Get our car effects up for the chase. And a best of luck to the Michaela. They did really well overall. Dead Dog Saloon. This can be quite a, uh, a fun map for night. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these doors real quick, and then we will hopefully be able to find ourselves a fast survivor. Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to be that fast, but I will take it. Just kidding. Just gotta assert some dominance. Ooh, we're staying. Oh, we're giving me a very quick first down. Yeah, with a really fast down like that, there's no real reason to go through your skirt chuck. Unless you have a reason to believe that there... Yeah, I knew I saw someone back here. Oh, you went all the way, fair. But unless you feel like there's like two survivors on a gen or something and you want to deny that gen, if you have eyes on everybody, don't you know throw away a skirt chuck if there's not enough pressure for it. We got someone up here, so... Though I only got Carnifex coming up. Oh, you did get out all the way. I thought that was just somebody else. Fair enough. We'll go ahead. We'll use Carnifex on it. Then cycle back to our Assassin. And we are healing, so... Go ahead and put an Assassin right there. Where... Oh, where is the gamer going? Straight to me. And our Scourge Hook denies the gen. Love to see it. We also got the current effects coming up for a long chase if need. Hi. I have current effects up to hopefully finish this chase pretty quick. Especially since she didn't get a lot of distance. Nice. Yeah. And we like it. That is what we like to see. Let's go ahead and try and send a unit here before we pick up to catch them on this gen. There we go. And there goes a survivor by D-Sing. We'll go ahead and play this one out. We'll see how well the bot does. The bot's probably going to be pretty good against Knight, I would assume. Uh, but people DC all the time against Knight, so... We'll go ahead and play this one out. I assume... The bot is going to be really good at just, like, knowing what I'm setting my units for it and just automatically leaving. Kind of like if you're playing Wraith, the, the bots always see you, so they preemptively run, even when you're getting close. Like, even when you're, like, trying to sneak up on them. Carnifex is just back here chasing her around in a circle. I'd love to see it. I want to try and get there in time before the Carnifex disappears. And we have someone working on the gen right behind us. Can you, uh, quit running the big man? Thank you. At least we'll take my hit. Don't know how much I want to play on this, especially with them being at the gen over there. That should tag anyone who's up there. Come on, don't finish it. Ah, they got it. Fair enough. Can I get a two for one special? The answer is no. I do not get that. It gives us car effects, which should be pretty good for us to have a uh, nice little chase. We're already back up there. One of the nice things about this map, though, is we can always tag people who are up there without having to, like, waste a lot of time just by putting our unit there. That way he kind of swings out. Oh, that one didn't actually tag. I guess I need to be a little bit closer here. If she's going to try and stick it. There we go. That should work. Maybe? Eventually? There it goes. 
My guy was having a hard time. Drop down. Yeah, the assassin pretty much gets you if you drop down. And don't have balance landing. That stops that jump there. I'm surprised. I thought this jump over here would have a lot more uh, progression on it. It's got a little bit, but not a lot. So, if they did anything, they just tapped it. Oh, here we are. Is it? Yeah, it's the bot. There you go. Bot will hold forward. At the end of this game, you guys are going to have to rate the bot compared to the original Yui and let me know who was better. Though, we didn't really have a lot of watch time on the original Yui. Right back up top. There we go. That should take right. Oh, she's going to play out there. But we'll see if she holds it forward or not. Are you just sitting right here? You are. Cool. Balance landing. Uh, I mean, I can just go ahead and drop the assassin. Yeah. It's like she knew. That way, if she tries to go back, we can catch her, but she might drop. She did, too. Okay. She got quite a bit of distance, and we have both of them over there. Hi. Miss Skill Check. Well, we know that person's not the bot. Try and spread out the pressure just a little bit. And already head off. Maybe the bot is there. Be kind of one of the funny scenarios because they'll be really good at just preemptively running. Nice greed. We got someone working up on the uh, balcony again. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm not really too worried about that generator. We can try and finish this up at the moment. Yeah, it's just uh, the little DJ up there. See if we can get Lori. Oh, there we are. Both. Cool. Carnifex is up and going. Which way? Over there. Cool. Wow, you actually let that go. I'm going to try and deny this. We're going to hold off. I guess not. It was so close to being done. We can go ahead and get our unit back and just defend it. Just got to wait a second. There we go. Oh, you came all the way back over here for me? I'm so thankful. No. Oh. Are you going to take a hit? You got a flashbang on you. Yeah. Nice try. Can I, uh... Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you just cut back through and around? Okay. How far? Oh, you got quite the distance. Did we just big hold it forward? No, we kind of stopped running around this area. Here we are. No drop. Nice. But now you're kind of just in a dead zone outside of this, I think. Oh, you might have pallet here. No, you don't. You got vaults. Yeah, the assassin's going to get her, though. Yep. No matter what, the assassin sees her there, and then we got we can just pinch her off. We just saw, I think, the bot up here. There we go. If someone comes for a save, the uh, jailer there will go for the person who actually saves. But it looks like the person got grabbed beforehand. So if they get the save with Jailer chasing them, then it'll stop the chase for Jailer. But it looks like she went the other way over here. And that survivor is a dunzo with this game, which is fine. Game was pretty much done for quite a while. And it looks like it's probably going to be in the, uh, the bot to get the uh, attempt for escape. Well, we got the bot here. You got doesn't go for it, holds forward like a champ. Can I uh take this free hit? Oh thank you. Can you uh stop blinding me? Ma'am. No drop. This bot is a super greeter. Doesn't like vaults though. Doesn't like vaults. 
Alright. Well, guys are definitely going to have to uh, rate the bot and let me know how it did compared to uh, everyone else. Garden of Pain, everyone's favorite map, you know? Grand, this will be great. Not the worst corrupt spawn, though. Because it denies a lot of these, like, really solid areas to play around the night. Oh, and a pretty quick chase. Hi. Do it. Oh, you actually didn't drop. I had to drop off that way I could get the car effects out. Oh, Fang gets the uh, vault for sure. We'll try and play catch up for a second, but I don't want to be... Yeah, I don't know how much I really want to chase it. This vault right here is just like a god vault. There is no mind gaming it. You can only outplay it really with uh, Bamboozle. It actually held forward really nicely, good. And we're upstairs working. I'll reset the Carnifex. I might need him in a second. Now, hopefully, we jump out and we go right into my arms, right? Kinda. We do have the Assassin, hi. Yeah, the assassin wasn't going to get her. Feels bad. Someone right there on the gen. See if we can swap the chase here. We'll kick this before we continue the chase. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good area, but it's also a corner of the map, which we can play at pretty well. My unit got all sorts confused there. It's one of the big downsides of playing Knight, especially the Jailer. I feel like the Jailer gets confused more than anybody. Cool. I had to leave the chase, though, because you can hold forward all the way to Shack, and on the Corrupted side, that's really brutal. Uh, yeah. Well, now I might chase her. That's a maybe? Yeah. Didn't exactly go the way I thought she would. Are we healing up? We are here. Not where I thought we'd be healing up at, but hey, it works for me. Nope. All right, we have the other survivor here. Where at? Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay. I could drop the jailer here to protect it, but I feel okay. Well, hopefully we can deny a little bit of pressure here, but I think all of their pressure is probably on that main gen. Oh, and here. Fang's kind of running to me, but we do have someone on. Well, we can go for, ooh. Yeah, this works. Hi. Oh, you were, you're a roomie. Did you have Sprint Burst in 99? Oh, I'll keep an eye out on that for later. That's like one of the best things you can do against Knight. If you're ever in chase with them, get your Sprint Burst 9 9 Be very difficult for uh, Knight to play around that. Ooh, we're already moving. I'm a little late, late to that. Nice. Separate the pressure out. Car effects will chase for years. This gives us time to chase this. I kind of have our 3 gen over here, but... Yeah. It's kind of a wonky tile to play on. Bang, come here. I just want to talk about it. There we go. Now we got everyone injured. Should be a pretty smooth down here now. Oh. Was well, not expecting you. Can we get maybe a two for one special? I'm going to think so. <laughs> Oh, you had dead hard. Well, never mind. It was all a prank. Kick this before I go, just to get a little bit more regression. And some scourge hook love. Wow, looks like it's just on this gen. I wonder if they're just knocking out gens by, like, pairs. How far we get? Pretty far. So, we'll keep this up for right now. We kind of have like these two gens really close, so we can always play on another. That's right by the hook. Love tap to the uh, gen, which means we hopefully get ourselves. Oh, this works out. A pretty quick down. Yeah, I'm thinking these three gens right here are definitely our uh, go to. You know, you want the chase right after 
getting off hook. It's gonna give me the idea that you have probably off the record. It's a very common thing. But since I'm right by the hook here, I feel okay. Come on, there it is. Yeah, she's not making any noise. Yep. I had a feeling. That means the other survivor probably has it too. I do know the other survivor has dead hard, so I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, these three gens right here are main gens. There you are. Hi. That's kind of one of the best ways you can really deal with this map is finding your three gen. And that way... Oh, thank you. That way if you need to play on it, you can. And with this map and with Knight, we're definitely going to be playing on it. I'm going to try and get some value by uh, Jailer over here, but we'll see. Yeah, no one's there. Cool. We'll pick up. Oh, I guess somebody is there. Cool. Even better. That is our third Scourge Hook, and it hit this gen. That means they have no more progress on any other gens, which is fine. Like I said, I feel like they're probably going from gen to gen and just knocking out, like, a gen at a time, which isn't bad, because you can kind of prolong game against Knight pretty well, as long as you're not getting rid of a lot of resources. But we do have a pretty nasty three gen that we can rely on. We just got to make sure we're watching. That's some really good moonwalks, though. Kind of jealous. I don't think I get that, do I? Yeah, it's a no. There we go. Someone's got to go for the save, so we're in the best spot here. To be fair, I could be really brutal here, but we're going to choose not to. I could, like, sit on the hook right now and just keep sending units out, detonating gens. And it would be very effective in this position. But, for the sake of gameplay and not getting more people to DC left and right... We'll try and play a little bit away from that. There we go. Definitely gonna be looking for people healing under hook though. And she vroomed out of there. Thankfully. Gonna drop it? Hi. She's just okay with taking a hit. Anything that gives you movement speed is always gonna be good, but especially against killers that don't like it when you hold forward. Yeah. There we go. That gives us a very quick down. Right back to our favorite hook. No pressure here. Cool. Or there. Even better. That means all the pressure is on these gens here. So, we have a really good setup here. Again, we could definitely sit under the hook here and just keep detonating gens as we protect the person that's on hook. And it's a very effective strategy on night, but yeah, this works out well too. Go ahead, get the save. You don't go for the save. Oh, there we go. Someone else got it. We just want to make sure we get them under chase from the unit after they get the save. There we go. That'll keep everyone pretty much injured up. I didn't chase this for a second. They don't have a lot of pressure, though they could double up on a gen and get a lot of value out of it. Did we get it? Yeah, there we go. They did heal up, so I feel a little bit better about this. Gives us a little bit more time to chase. Gonna go straight to the corner, yep. Waste as much time as you can. Definitely risky to do this. Don't do this if you know they're, like, staying injured and doing gens. Them healing while I'm chasing her was very, uh, very bad. You don't want to do that. You want to be able to crank a gen when the killer's in chase someone else, especially a killer like Knight, who's really good at protecting generators. Fang is out of the game, so I'm tempted a little bit, but... I don't know yet. We'll see. Howdy. Nice. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can put this away, I think. There we go. Stop this generator, hopefully, from going. Cool. That should keep her busy while we get the hook in. This does get rid of our good hook, but it gets the survivor out of the game, so I'm okay with it. Not enough pressure there, so all of our pressure is probably on this gen. Yeah, big time. I don't have every survivor account for, so I'm going to try and deny this gen the best I can.
Mm. Yeah, I'm not super interested in this chase, but we might look for a hit. But she might just hold forward, too. I forgot about that. Yeah. Slowly getting over it. We went right back to the gen. Fair enough. Probably been on this chase a little too long, but we'll see if we can maybe finalize it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Always going to second guess myself on the uh, gen here. But we got to be careful not to just get into... Uh, well, with three survivors up, we probably could do it. You be careful with Knight not to get into the like habit of just only protecting gens where you're not taking chases. Because, again, you got to be able to put a chase away. Survivors will always win out eventually if there's four of them. And they're playing somewhat decent. They'll win out on like this idea of like gen kick to them being gen efficient. You can't spawn units fast enough to deny like every gen on the map. Dead Heart's such a good perk into units. You know, right to that generator? Yeah, you are. Oh, there you are. Cool. That's really good. That means we're we're pretty free to chase here. I'm going to kick it again, though. We're pretty good to chase here because we had eyes on all three survivors. They could go pop another gen, and then we have to really defend. But other than that, we're probably fine. That pushes back into the corner. Yeah, I see ya. My only worry here is that the other survivor is going to go pop another gen. Yeah, the teabag makes me think you guys have pressure probably somewhere else and you're looking to just finalize the the gen, but we'll see if we can put it away. You don't have enough pressure over here to be teabagging. There we go. That's going to seal that survivor. But this, I believe the survivor has one more hook state available. So we might lose a gen for it, but I think that's okay. Oh, they missed a skill check. That's really bad for them. Can I get a unit there to stop them from being able to uh, finalize? No, I can't. Okay. But yeah, they are. They're going by 2-2 uh, two to two on every gen. So that's literally all their progress. At this point, it's just more about confirming the uh, kills or finding the injured survivor and putting it away. But yeah, this is kind of like the worst spot as a survivor you can be in. We have the three gen. here. They, they have to go for the swap if they want to. But either way, we're going to get somebody. We have a 3-gen, and we have a survivor trapped in the 3-gen. Best position to be at as Knight. Yep. And this seals the game. Oh, I gotcha. She tried hiding from me for a while. But... We're definitely going to go ahead and take home the 4K... And there we go. That is what I think is currently the best and most consistent build with Knight in, well, at least 2023. We'll see what next year perks brings. But I hope you all enjoyed. Much love, everyone. If you have a build you want me to try out, leave it down in the comment section below. Much love. And until next time, I am Red and I am signing off.